Good morning, everybody. I am uh, dubbing over this video because I lost sound in my microphone and didn't know it till like three quarters of the way through. So what I'm doing right now is actually introducing myself. My name is Randy Wittes. Welcome to my shop. And this is my 67 Chevelle. So let's get down to business. Um, what I'm doing is uh, I need to build a, a tunnel to make it large enough to accept the scatter shield for the scatter shield. So I'm trying to decide at this point how to do it, uh, cut the hole. I got a couple different options. Um, the scatter shield will not fit in the existing hole. So I'm kind of trying to remember what I was actually saying here, but I'll do the best I can. Sometimes I'll wing it and tell, sometimes I may tell you a different story. But, so, I'm prepping to cut the hole in the floor pan, as you can see where I marked it. And shortly we'll be getting to that. But my thought on this was to cut the hole on this line here and actually just move this section up so that would give me clearance at the top. Um, it's a good theory. At this time I thought it was. So uh, I'd like to move it up like I, I just showed you. Uh, move that the curve there up to that line and that would give me clearance for the scatter shield. So after thinking about this for a little while, anyway, I have to cut the hole no matter what. So as soon as we can get to business and cut the hole, we'll get that done. But obviously I'm still talking about what my thought was on this. That was that the if I once I lift that panel up, um, the that piece of metal would be about that high up off of the existing tunnel, and I'd have to fill in that gap somehow. But you know, in fabrication, we'll do something and realize, or think of something better, realize something's not going to work, or it'll give us a different idea, and we'll think something better and we'll change our direction completely. So I'm going to give it uh, probably a little pause here shortly and we're going to get to cutting. I don't know what I'm doing right now with the hand gesture but it looks good. So let's get to cutting. Ready, set, go. Yeah! So here we're back. I'm cutting a hole in my brand new tow pan. Gotta love it. Um, you know, I bought that scatter shield a good 20 years ago and never put it in. The reason I had to get a scatter shield was because I was going to run nitrous. Well, the nitrous was all hooked up. Never ever did run it, but uh, uh, didn't run it because I didn't have the scatter shield in. Um, you know, things happened after that down the line. Um, you know, everything's plumbed, as you have seen in previous videos. But, and, you know, it was only jetted for 125, and that was because I have stock bottom end, 2 bolt main, 327. So here I'm currently cutting and you know watching I've never watched <laughs> cutting with that uh, fire starter from this angle and I'm sure glad I wear a face shield because that's a lot of sparks just right directly in your face 
even though I have a guard on that grinder, as you can see, they just bounce everywhere and end up right in your face. So I've had plenty of metal pulled out of my eyes, and that's with wearing glasses. And you know, as you can see, the directions that all these sparks fly, they still get under my face shield and hit me, you know, close to my eye. None have hit me in the eye recently, thank goodness. But you know, my recommendation: wear a face shield. So as we wait till I get this cut out, looks like we're really close. And you can't uh, really hear all the grunting and groaning that's going on. See, I'm leaning on that bar, and that that's really quite painful. Okay, we've got the hole cut in the floor. You can see that there's plenty of room there now. My scatter shield will fit. Actually, I think I came back and well, there's not not much room right there. See, there's there's still it's still tight on the top. So we cut some more off the side than I had originally cut because there wasn't enough room. And I believe I'm talking about see the ears right there on the transmission. Have to cut good morning, good morning. So we're back. Our gas pedal has turned into a huge undertaking. Uh, not, yes and no. But what I mean by that is, um, you know, after putting the gas pedal in and got it where I wanted it, realized, well, I better check the scatter shield. You know, we went over this. So I have since cut a big old hole in my floor. You saw that. So there's the big old hole. You know, it's, it's kind of uh, depressing. You spend a bunch of money to buy a tow pan and install it and have it nice and be factory. And then you have to chop it up. So we've got the scatter shield installed. Oh, by the way, if you own a 327 with the breather system in the back, you're going to have to do a little work because the scatter shield hits the little breather right here. I think you can see it. So I had to take probably a good eighth of an inch off the back of this. I hope I don't run into any problems later on in life, but that's what I had to do to get that to bolt up. On top of cutting the ears off the Turbo 400, and that would be these ears. I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm showing you down there. This ear. That would be on the side of the tranny. That holds on your splash pan, dust cover, whatever you want to call it, for the flywheel. Same on the other side. Now, I also learned something. Here, I had to basically cut off flat with the, the ear of the block. No problem. Leaves a little extra on the bottom. And here, I didn't have to cut it off flush with the block. I could have left you know, maybe a quarter of an inch would have been fine, and that flexes a little bit, so. But, you know, hindsight's 2020. We live and we learn. But there's plenty of reinforcement up on the inside of the bell housing, so it's not like I completely destroyed the Turbo 400 case. It's, uh, but if I did, you know, just get a new one. So, Here's what I'm working with right now. As you can see, big hole. Um, you can see how far that sticks into my floor, my firewall and floor. So my, whoopsie, sorry. Did you have a little too much to drink last night? You've fallen over. 
So my theory or thinking of raising this up to here, for example, you know, might could still work. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm still in the process of trying to figure that out. But one thing I am seeing, because I'm not going to have a lot of clearance to get to my bell housing bolts with that scatter shield on. You know, the top ones we could get from the top. No big deal. Could get to that one. Could get to that one. Can't do that anymore. So, you'd have to weasel a very long extension up over the top um, but you can't get your hand up in there so I'm gonna have to do some long thinking pondering and some research to see what is my other option here um, may build a complete new tunnel for here uh, so that it's removable so I can get to those bolts. So once I figure that out, I'll get back to you. I know where we are. I have room enough now. Okay, well, this see, is where my mic is. Plate. Really, really bad. Undo my plate. Remove my plate. It's failing. Uh, I cut. Section out. This is the top section, which I will then cut and weld back in to the firewall topan area. And yeah, there's some gapage over here. Gapage over there. Not, not done yet. Okay, so. Bear with me. Um, my thinking is I will use this then to come back over the top and I will put oh, lack of words here. I'm going to put a, a flange on this all the way around. that will then bolt in place. And my ribs are killing me because it's not fun having these dang bars in here. Wish I'd have known how to wait until the very last thing to put these bars in. I didn't mention the bars sticking in my ribs before yeah. I got out of this Didn't think I'd be doing this. I mean, I bought this plate. Okay, moving on. Uh, tried to fabricate that uh, piece that I was speaking about. Uh, you see, I I bent a little of flange on it. Um, basically, realizing that piece is not going to work. Uh, I wanted to see. You know, I tried. I think I even screwed in place, did a couple things, but it's it's not, it, it doesn't satisfy me. Let's put it that way. So, moving on. Um, what I'm going to do is try a little test panel with this little piece and see if I can't use my new little shrinky stretchy tools that I have over here on the bench uh, to fabricate something and get that flange the way that I want it and have plenty of sheet metal left over on the side that I can then weld into, there's your shrinky, stretchy, shrinky, stretchy, one or the other, I don't remember which, um, to have excess sheet metal on the sides because that was one of the things I was running into is trying to put that old piece back in. I would have had to patch and, and weld together and, and just was not going to work and look good. So I'm going to practice on this little piece. It's already kind of starting to take shape. 
So let's do some more practicing. And yep, that's what we're going to do. Sorry, there, there was a, a pause line here in the film, and I thought that I was going to hit another section. But anyway, there's, there's the... No, I can't see it, just like you can't see it. So, I'm going to watch me work on this a little bit. Use the little stretchy tool. And I believe that is the yellow one. And I'm going to dolly, hammer and dolly, use the anvil. Um, one of the hammers that I was using is not, it's that curved faced hammer right there. Um, that really, that helped out a lot trying to make the curve in that flange. Uh, as well as the, the horn on that anvil. So, just a little time spent on that, and we'll go over a few things while I'm doing it. Uh, the thing that I realized in the little stretchy tool here is uh, it gives you like a one inch flange perfectly as you put it in there and you just keep working on that metal now it it does leave little marks in it that I wasn't thrilled about but hey you gotta take what you get sometimes uh, you can machine and sand some of it out but don't be too worried about it later on I go and, and make another piece that goes over the flange that I actually made. So it covers all that up. And it's, it's all covered by the tunnel cover anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But just, uh, this is a long little process here. Just stretching, 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 and we have to do this for a little bit uh, because, you know, it, it doesn't all happen in just one little push of that lever. It takes a lot, to be honest with you. So... don't know what I'm explaining there and I probably could have cut a lot of this out because watching me do that once or twice is about enough I'm kind of bored with it as already but we're gonna keep doing it and I'm gonna you know say stuff as I go along but I don't know what I was saying but you see, oh here here we go see how that metal when you stretch the flange it curves the metal because it's obviously pushing metal away. So it's got to go somewhere. But it's okay. It, it will straighten back out. When you get done working on your flange, you can flatten that piece back out. Not a big deal. And as I was experimenting with this, trying to find the best spot on the anvil or, or whatever to, as you can see, it's not very comfortable. It's not just, you know, hey, you hit it here and it, it moves. You got to get that edge of that anvil right on the crease so it'll bend over. And again, little by little here, you can't rush it. Things start to take shape. So being patient here is, is very critical because you can 
spend hours and hours on something and then the last little bit get impatient and just ruin the whole project. But I'm actually really satisfied and impressed on how this is coming out. See this, this it's a little little bent. No big deer. Take your, your flat body hammer and just kind of work around the edges of the flange and sometimes you just you know grab it with your hands and bend it whatever works Leave I'm, I'm trying to sharpen up that bend on that flange a little bit. As you see, I'm, I'm striking and kind of scraping at the same time or pulling away from that. Uh, every time you hit your sheet metal with that hammer or any hammer, you're changing the shape of the metal. So what I was trying to do is see how it's, it's changing, it's actually flattening it out, but you're also kind of changing the, the structure of the molecules in there. You're stretching them. But it's going back into shape where that panel's flat. And that's another thing that I wanted to make sure by doing this little test panel that that was going to happen because I needed a flat piece on the firewall. And that's going to work. Let's see, you just twist it with your fingers. So we're taking shape. I get. I need to get a, a little better angle on that. Again, gonna need some more shrinking, not shrinking, but stretching, a little more hammering. But every time I bend that piece of sheet metal back flat, changes the angle of that flange. So then you got to go back and forth and back and forth. I should have brought my hammer here. I could have, you know, made fake hammering noises to fill in the blank stop spots when I wasn't talking. I'm sure you would enjoy that. Bang, bang, bang. Here, I'll do it like that. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Anyhow. Okay, we're getting we're getting to where we're coming to a, a new section. So I don't know what section that's going to be. So it's a surprise for me too. But you see, I'm really, really stretching that flange right at this point, making it go into shape. Okay, well we're back to the stretcher thingy. So stretch stretch and see I've cut a lot of out of this video I mean I spent most of the day working on this stuff and I cut it down to an hour and 50 minutes but it's still kind of boring so bear with me here you know here's here's more hammering bang bang Bang, 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 bang. I'm going to hit my thumb here in a second, I bet you. Nope, I moved it. Good. Okay, now we got the dolly out. Um, this, this helped. Um, actually, I think it helped more than I realized. Again, that curved hammer really makes a difference. You can't use a flat hammer to make this curved flange. There's just no way. So we're back, you know, the, the panel's curved again, so I'm going to flatten it back out. But my flange is looking good. That's where I want it. I 
Okay, so using the flat hammer around the flange again. Flatten out the sheet metal. I think this time it goes a little bit quicker. And we retain the shape of the flange. So I've spent a lot more time on this piece, again, that I'm, I'm showing you because I've edited the heck out of this. But that's, that's looking pretty good. And I think that I've decided that that little test piece made me move on and actually make a real piece. And I'm talking about to the dolly here for some reason. I don't know why. Anyway, so moving on to um, I took, I think, the old piece that I cut out and kind of used it as a template. But anyway, here's the actual piece that we made for the firewall and made the flange. So little more hammer and dollying and I think uh, this went faster obviously because I did it once already so I know what to do this time so I'm getting right on that with that dolly um, I think it proved to I was able to hold it flat on the anvil as well as really go to town on that flange and make it take shape. Because, you know, I was getting tired of the shrinky shrinky thing. So, but you see the lines in that flange that I was talking about? That's what the shrinker, stretcher, shrinker, whatever, either one of them does it. They make lines in it. Now, I had a little combination on this panel to where it was curved and then it went to sh it went straight right there would be one of them now I'm using the shrinker here um, to take up some of that bow I didn't use this that much it did help it a little bit especially right there at that corner. Like I said, that, that goes from a curve then straight down. So it was giving me a little bit of an issue. But it uh, did help, but it was also deforming my sheet metal, and I didn't appreciate that. So more bang, 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 bang. Again, this this took several hours to uh, actually make. And we're getting a little aggressive right here. And that little that straight part, you see how it's war not warping. It's, yeah, it's warping. It's warping my panel. Uh, the more aggressive I got with the flange, the worse that warp got. But just come back and push it with your hand, straighten it all back out. Now, again, every time I did that, it changed the angle of my flange again. Here's where things start getting just a little frustrating because on my experimental piece I didn't have that straight part so after beating on that for a while uh, it came into shape now also that that panels bent right there and I may or may not had to 
Yeah, I did. I had to slice it right there and then weld it back up to get that bend to take shape. Because all it would do was buckle back on me. So I had to take like a pie shape out of it, which I didn't actually. I just cut it with a pair of shears, overlapped them, and welded both sides up. And it was fine. It was very minimal overlap. The relief was very small. So we're clamping things in, and I decided to tack this in place, which that was a mistake. Don't do that. Um, because my plan was to cut around the inner edge of the panel, see? I had to cut it back out. But my, my plan was to cut around the inner edge of that panel, and if I did that, see here? Cut around the edge. It would have left because I already tacked welded it to the firewall. It would have left that piece stuck to it. Anyhow, now I've decided to put a couple of bead beads in it. Bead rolling uh, roll. Let's spit it out. Roll some beads into the panel to give it some structure because it was a little flip floppy ish. So here I finished finished up on rolling those three beads in it. Turned out pretty good. Um, I put it in the center, working. It uh, actually strengthened that panel up pretty nice. Did realize there was a big old bead on the firewall that was not centered. It was off to the side a little bit. That's not what I'm saying right here. I have no idea what I'm saying. But let's go to and see how this fits now, since we did all that. See the, the bend, I'm trying to line the bends up in the sheet metal with the bends that are in the firewall. And Yes, the panel is in there straight, just the camera's looking crooked. So, I will be screwing this in, but see, that's the bead I was talking about on the firewall. That's, I didn't, I didn't notice it. Um, I could have lined my bead up with that bead wouldn't have been centered, but who knows. I wasn't going to remake a new panel just because that bead didn't line up with mine. I like mine better. So, there. Okay, we've got that panel screwed in. I'm not going to weld it yet. I'm not going to tack weld anything. I'm going to make a start making a template for the tunnel. I'm going to get a longer piece because this one's going to be too short, but you'll see that in a second when we get there. But this cardboard came out of the boxes that my cabinets came in. A bunch of this little sheet of cardboard. It's awesome to work with. Now you can see I've got lines in that cardboard. That's each where each the, the corrugation is. If you take that and bend it over something round, it will make that a lot more pliable, let's say, versus getting all these kinks in it like it has right now. So all I'm doing is Fitting, trimming, fitting, trimming. And if you mess it up, start a new one. I don't know. Uh, the, yeah, the, the flange up there wasn't just a straight line flange. Um, 
the firewall's curved actually a little bit so anyway you got to cut for that see how it fits trim some more and now we're getting close and you see how that's curved up there it's not straight across So this is another thing that's a little time consuming and I've ed edited the heck out of it but I've got uh, a general shape now and uh, taking that over on a sheet metal and we're going to cut it out and see how well that works. Because working with a piece of cardboard versus a piece of sheet metal is completely different things. So you see right there where my thumb is, that's the tunnel, uh, the lower portion. Okay, now we're, we're going to cut. We got it traced out. And this won't take very long because, again, I edited it. Yet. But I didn't edit as much as I thought I did. So <laughs> here we are, cutting some more. Those shears are great. I did get those at uh, the Harbor Freight, and they work wonderfully. You can cut a curve with them. And I've got another pair of shears that um, more or less for straight lines. And they work great too. Bought a lot of tools to build this car with. But see, there's the flange I've been working on. Same concept as what we did before. Shrink and stretch and beating. Now here's the top flange that I have to make. That has to be at roughly... I'm just going to throw out there 45, maybe, to fit on top of the flange that's on the firewall. And then, as you can see at the tunnel there, the other little bent part. And I've got overlap of sheet metal all around the edges and down the sides. So I kind of work my way from the center out and get things to fit properly and get them to wrap around. See now here, uh, we've skipped a few steps. Boom, there it is, all in, ready to go. Uh, you can see the crease there. I did end up having to weld a weld and a flange on right there uh, so I could bolt it to the floor. I had plenty of sheet metal on the other side that was after the fact I had already cut this side off. So I did learn something from cutting this side too far. So I'm contemplating to make that piece oh, had a little little blip of sound there out of the mic apparently uh, as you can see I did relief cuts right here to help form that around that corner area that was in the firewall flange another relief cut welded on the back side and the front side. Ground it off, looks good. You know, the, the shrinker stretcher tools, they, they get you there, but sometimes you got to remove some metal. Um, 
also making the bend right there as I had pointed out run my hand across that uh, I needed to cut there was one and then on the other end as well now that one was actually it widened and I'll come back and weld that together but you know we're still in the fitting process this is still making it work I'm going to weld the flange right there where my pointing so I can bolt it to the floor. But it is, I'm happy with it so far. It's taking shape. I welded that flange. No, I did not either weld that flange. But I will shortly, I'm sure. Looks a lot better than that piece. <laughs> Junk. But anyway. And this is going to be removable, by the way. So then, if I have to pull my motor or transmission, I can get to those bolts. exactly sure <clears throat> excuse me what I'm getting ready to do I could have edited this piece out to be honest with you because this is not showing us anything I guess I'm just uh Gonna go get something to drink and come back. Oh, got my gloves. So apparently I'm getting ready to weld that flange right there. Oh, I guess I'm gonna start beating on it with a hammer. So we're gonna put it back in the car going to do some kind of fit. I thought I added this little portion out, but I guess not. So we're just winging it. So we're going to do a little more fitting. Oh, yeah, I think that looks like I'm not even close yet. Um, I bet the right side I see I haven't done the left side so what I was explaining before is I went ahead and did the right side without putting that on camera and I was going to show you the left side um, making that flange a little more flush in position. And I think what happened is that actually ended up overlapping that gap that I cut. So that was a good thing. Well, use whatever you have, your hand, your dolly, a piece of wood. Okay, well, that, that's coming into shape. It's fitting the tunnel better. Bang, 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 bang. So anyway, we're coming up on 
another section of me doing something else other than banging on the panel. So, well, we just got to get it to fit right before we move to the other side. <clears throat> Excuse me. Talking this quiet is taking a toll on my voice. Okay, so we're working on that little that flange. See how close we can get that. Bang, 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 bang. I'll probably be welding this up here shortly, but probably after we get the driver's side bent. Dang it, man. I was hoping we would have moved on by now. I could have shortened this video up a whole lot more. But, you know, you got to see this. you got to see exactly what I'm doing. Otherwise, people get mad and say, oh, you cut out the good stuff. I wanted to see, yeah, see right now, see how I'm hitting, striking it, not banging straight down. I'm striking away from it. Well, for one thing, so I don't hit the smooth, shiny part. The other thing, I don't know what I said right there. I really don't, to be honest with you. I'm sure it was just something widely intelligent. But every time you hit that, like I said, it actually stretches the metal out. I'm trying to move that metal in a certain direction when you strike it. A sliding strike. I don't remember what they call that. Glancing below. Not like you're hitting somebody in the head or something. But back in the car, making old man noises. I wish I had some like music in the background, but you can't do that because you get demonetized unless you use YouTubes. And I haven't learned how to overlap a little music and dub something at the same time. I'm not sure about this dubbing part. I did it once before on another video, but I was able to use my computer to do that. Right now I'm using my camera and the mic on the camera. And hopefully I don't run out of, no, I got 47% of battery, so hopefully we make it all the way through. Oh, I've got another hour to go. Oh my God. May not make it. I'll have to switch batteries. So, again, time consuming, well, at least you get you get an idea of what, how long this takes. So, back on the table, back to flattening and straightening this out. Every time you do something, something else moves. Apparently I needed a little more angle on that based on how much I'm moving it now. Doesn't look very good there. It's okay. We'll get it. No, that's right. That was, uh, that's the left side. So yeah, I've got to cut uh, a relief in that. So you can see how it's, it's kind of bulking, not bulking, but gathering up. It's something's got to give. So, to 
just a simple little cut. And I'll make a couple more cuts, kind of like the other side, but keep in mind the other side's not the same as, the right side's not the same as the left side. The design is different, the bends are different. So, trying to figure out where the next cut needs to be. I'll get a, a general shape out of this. I'm sure it's probably going to be right in that area. Doing those glancing blows again. See now, you can see how the metals just automatically just overlapped itself. It's just not even an eighth of an inch, but that's all I needed. And that'll make a world of difference on how that's going to fit. See, it's starting to round, round in. That line that I drew is basically, well, apparently I've, I've well, that's cutting on the right side. But the line, you can see the line in the flange isn't perfectly straight. I had to take some out in the middle. So I'm just talking about how I, I took some a little bit off the edge of that flange to fit the roundness of the firewall a little bit. So we're going to continue working on the left side. Cut another. Yeah, I'm going to cut some more reliefs. Roughly in the same place as the other side, but not quite. So, you know, that should be where a bend will go in into it. So we definitely need a relief there. As soon as you do something like that, things just really come into shape. Actually, I'm, I'm kind of impressed on how this tunnel is coming out. I uh, wasn't sure that I was going to be able to do that, but um, it's, it's coming along. We're getting there. Just like I said, take your time. Don't rush it. But see now, see how that's wrapping around? Yeah, I've got to bend this little ear out a little bit because it's hitting the floor. And we'll be bending that shortly. And that'll make a, another flange or a tab, whatever you want to call it that we can bolt through to the floor. Right there, where I just pointed. But it's fitting. And that, that bend on this side wasn't as drastic as the other side. Now we're going to make uh, the flange for the floor, and I did 
make this bend in at once and it wasn't right. So I had to come back and flatten it out and redo it. this handy dandy little bender tool, bending brake as we call it, you can see uh, I put those little wing nuts on there, those don't come in there um, from the factory. Uh, I put those on there. Uh, I actually drilled holes through that bar, through the bending brake, and then now otherwise you were just to hold it with clamps and then see the motion of my hands. When you go to bend something, it would just push it away from you. So the, the bolts hold it in place and then that clamp holds the center down and it actually works out quite well. I mean, you're not going to bend quarter inch steel, but what, you know, what break are you going to bend quarter inch steel? Here's where I'm redoing my bend. And that worked out much better. And now it's starting to look like something. It's starting to actually look like a, let's call it a hood, a tunnel hood. Just thought of that right now. Boom, look at that. Right there. Well, we got to do a little, little twink in yet. No big deal. It's fitting. Good thing I trimmed my nose hairs. But hey, that's looking like something right there. So here's where I welded the flange on the other side. It's like 2020. I would have known. I wouldn't have cut so much metal off. But, as you can tell, we put it back on. If I wasn't blocking the mic too bad right then. So, we're just going to clean up our welds and make it look pretty as much as we can. And shortly I'm going to get into some sound here. Hopefully, but we'll get these wells cleaned up and see what the finished product looks like. Good morning. We are back on the pedal. So, after doing some thinking, some research on some videos and the old YouTuber channels. Um, I had this side of the pedal over here, so as you can see I switched it. Uh, I'm going to have to cut this end off and try to mount this dually hickey, I don't know why I had it right there, um, in here somewhere. So. Today's fabrication is this. We'll be cutting, relocating, see if we can make this bad boy work without cutting the crap out of my tunnel that I just built. And see also, see where this is relocated? It's over there. Where. Uh, which is a much better spot as far as the cable. But anyway, let's get on that. Enough staring at it. Let's get over here. 
and just get to hacking away. Um, I'm going to have to take this apart first. I don't want to melt my little bushings in here. that cleaned it out just simple as pie okay let's get to busy nice little tiny TIG weld on there I mean it's not Nice, but cute little TIG weld. <clears throat> Takes a lot of talent to run a little tiny bead like that. None that I have. <laughs> okay, grinder time. So what I like doing is modifying things that you buy that are supposed to fit but you know in their defense it, it will it would have fit just uh, doesn't fit my application that's okay not a biggie Okay. So 
So, okay, well, apparently I've got a bunch of video with no sound. Uh, just figured out that my mic failed. This is the headset that I have taken the headset part off of and clipped it to my shirt. So it's going to be dingle dangling around. Um, hopefully it works. And uh, we'll continue on with the show. So back over here, uh, because my SD card got filled up and I had to go change that out. And so just for the heck of it, I uh, checked my sound, which is my fault. I should check my sound every time. Lesson learned for future. So uh, SD card got filled. We cut this off. We're modifying this. So let's continue. I'm going to pause right now and check my mic. Okay. I want this to come out from the firewall like so, or like so. This has to be parallel with that. So we now have to make a cut on this that we can spin this and weld it back together so then it's straight. So that's going to take a lot of mind thought. And I know just an angle, get the correct cut on here. See, if I just spin that, that's not going to do anything. So the correct cut here, then turning this should be a 45, I'm thinking, right? Am I wrong? Put that down in the comp. Yeah, the compliments, the comment section. Uh, but we're going to uh, we're going to run a 45 in here and see where that gets us, and uh, we'll figure we'll find out. Let's do this. Let's cut something and test it. <laughs> Yeah, I should know this off the top of my head, but, you know, uh, I didn't realize my mic was working, not working either. So 45 and a 45 should make us a 90 degree angle. No problem. Just gonna cut this really quick. See, the problem here is this is to that. See, if we're cutting this at the 45, and the 90 will be here. You see, you follow me there? You got me? 
So if we 45 this, put that back together, it's like this. That's not going to work. Maybe it would. You know, I'd put that mount like here. Be ugly. But we want a 45 to this. This looks like this, or 90 to this. This looks like it's a 45. Oh, that's too much numbers and stuff. like a 45. Not quite one, but So, 45 makes a 90, yep. That's what we thought. But remember, I have to cut once. Not true, I can always weld it back together. <laughs> Why am I thinking like 22 and a half? How am I going to make that angle? I don't have one of those angle finders. So I really should.
Don't worry, there's nothing wrong with the camera. Just thinking. That's not going to work. Where's half of my 45? Why is it looking like a 90? So it's not really a 90, but it just looks really close to that. Cutting. Just going for it. It's what we do. Which end did I cut? Oh, that one. No. This one. Oh, it didn't work. Let me get my glove, because that's kind of hot. Well, uh, how about that, boys and girls, huh? Huh? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about.
right there. Dingy, 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 ding. So basically what I figured was half of a 45. 2250. 2250. And it was all just guessing. You know, nothing precise here. We don't do that. Okay, next ordeal. We need to bevel our edges so we can weld this. That'll be interesting. Don't worry, boys and girls, we're gonna make this hot. When we weld this, really hot. And I'm gonna have to hold this because there's no freaking way to clamp it. The sparks. Look. I mean, look at, look at. Hose, ground clamp, wires. Plug it in. Always helps. Easy peasy stuff right here. All right. Crank it up. Crank it! Quarter inch plate. That should be hot. Great to be even hotter. But yeah, why not? Three eighths. Don't want this clear helmet on.
That doesn't really matter that way, does it? It matters this way. To not, uh, you know, straight on there. But what I want to do is I have that tacked in place. See, I don't, not uh, a lot of penetration. So I'm going to grind some more of this stuff out here on this side. So I get some good penetration on this side and we go back on the other side. Come on, little clamper. out of that and uh, let's see, see? that. Don't do that. Okay, so we burn that in good. I'm going to come on this side. It's a little hot. Well, tells you how hot we got it. It's hot. Even through gloves. It's just hot. Hot. It's hot. Okay. see pretty much down the bare metal from the other side and there's a little pinhole in there but we'll take care of that we will take 
care of that. No. Woo! Nice. Fire hazard. Check my phone here real quick. Talking to a camera guy. <laughs> Took that wire down so we don't catch it on stuff like vice handle. All right, where are we? Back to here. Yeah what we're doing and blow some air on this see if we can cool it down a little bit it's hot Okay, so now yeah. this angle of the dangle here, it's not going to work anyhow, anywhere that we want it. So we're going to have to. Could have made that work somehow, but we got to go f put this in in the oh, car and see where we want it, see what angle we want this. We get light, so you can see a little better. Oh, there it is, right over here. squat really I mean you know all right so we want this to come in this area like so which means this thing like so much just uh you know it could actually do something like that i mean just kind of be tricky about it we've got that angle we can just kind of utilize it otherwise i've got to cut off some that's shortening me up Still going to shorten me up. I'm going to mount this like so. That puts it way over there. Don't want it way over there. 
we have to mount it like so. Be more in the center. And I'm not, I'm not actually mounting this yet. Okay, what I'm going on is this this dot right here where the pedal is. Let's do something. Let's just tack this on here on the plate. Just tack it. Might be able to utilize, you know. That angle. Just trying to get all I can out of it as far as length goes. Well, that little thing isn't really level, but we can kind of get it in the ballpark. Man, come on. Jeez. All right, close enough. Just trying to get it close, you know, close. here. Just blow a tack on it. Big old tack. We, we didn't want it that way, did we? We wanted it like that. Glad you guys said something. Would have messed that up. Whatever that stuff is, that black sooty stuff. All right, that's tacked. So, if I like it, I'll put a little better tack on it. like on the outside. Looks like a big old mess right there.
we'll try that. What I'm wanting to do right now is put a screw in it. There, now yeah, here, see where that won't fit in there all the way. in backward. Strip everything out. that right up. Maybe in a bit. You know, blood thinners and all. Aspirin. Alright, how do we put this in there? Like that. Let's try that.
And back to the old drawing, not board, but you know, whatever. You saw that, right? Yeah. I mean... Oh. Alrighty. Oh. I gotta take this back apart, I'm gonna re-tack it, I'm gonna reposition it, and you don't need to watch me do that again. So, I'll be right back. Okay? Hey, back working on that Chevelle, you know. Uh, where we left off is I, I have my pedal mounted where I want it. Okay, have the tunnel put in, and right now I'm cutting and tack welding the piece of sheet metal in there. So what I do is take this handy dandy little saw right here cut along just inside as you see inside the metal and then gives me a nice little tiny tiny gap to weld most of the time doesn't always work out because I kind of messed up and went off but anyhow got back on track and here's what I'm I'm dealing with so we'll continue on down get that finished up and uh, do a few other things, tighten all this up right here. Uh, well, I'll have to weld it again. But that's what we're doing. Uh, I'm going to put the camera down, let you see a little bit of how that goes. Now, I'm going to make a few uh, old man noises as I get in this car again but don't be alarmed because I'm okay there all right let's make a cut gaps tightened up as I tack weld.
voila there we go now you get the idea more and man noises I'm okay limping coming around all right okay is my hair okay yeah all right so I'll see you in a bit okay Final update on the tunnel and the pedal. The pedal I took out, uh, the tunnel I've got loosened up, but it's completely welded in. It's not pretty, but it's welded in. A little boogery over here, but you know, it is what it is. Had a big gap to fill. But I thought I'd show you the outside, uh, ground that down a little bit. Looks okay. Um, I'd like it to be smoother. So I might come in and just fill in little gaps, little pits, things like that later when I get the motor back out. You know, the motor back out. So, uh, but anyway, we're in. And I've got a few little things to, to finish up. I'm going to... Got this hole bigger up into here, most likely. And then uh, I'm, I may put a, another flange around everything, especially here, so I don't have a, a, a sharp edge to deal with. Um, but a little down the road. But uh, just wanted to finish up on fabricating the tunnel. So we'll see you on the next video.